Welcome back to Brush Up Your Game, and today we're doing a re-review on some more resources. Uh, we've got Skilled Helmsman up first, and this came with Tholian Web. Uh, Tholian Web was the first scenario after the Dominion War, a little throwback to TOS. Uh, Skilled Helmsman, you got a full about maneuver template, and, and if you want to visualize it, it's like two one turns put together, so it made a uh, a, a U, basically. You did a 180. Um, so you got the full about maneuver template. You place it on one of your ship cards for the duration of the battle. The chosen ship, and only that ship, could perform the full about maneuver. Uh, it followed normal rules with the following exceptions. During the activation phase of the player, player reveals a red maneuver on the sh chosen ship's maneuver dial. That ship may disregard its chosen maneuver and instead use the full about maneuver. So instead of doing a, uh, maybe it was a two turn, maybe it was a, a two reverse, maybe it was a three come about. Uh, but you could say, now nah, I'm going to do the, the one come or the one full about. Uh, you would choose to turn to the right or to the left. You place the full about maneuver template accordingly. Finish performing the maneuver as normal. It's considered red. You place the ox power token beside the ship. If the ship does not have the come about on its maneuver dial, then you place second auxiliary power token beside the ship. The only issue I had with this is that it was ship specific. I think if this was a fleet resource that it granted the full about to all ships in your fleet, it just would have been better. That that's really where I'm at with this. I, I I think it's it's interesting. You give me a template, but the moment you tell me it's only for one ship, it's where I go, eh, I, I'm probably better off not using this. Um, so not a resource, but a card. The Red Alert Talent also came with Tholian Web. It was uh, another card you got just for walking in the door. Uh, Red Alert... When you spend a battle station token, you could discard this card instead of returning the battle station token to the action token supply. And for two points, it's definitely not bad, but it's one use. It's a discard. And if it's going to take up my talent slot, I want it to be better. I think nowadays, Red Alert maybe is a time token card. And for like, three time tokens I could do the same thing and then maybe I got a, a valuable card here so yeah all right then we had arena and arena we got the chief engineer resource you got five chief engineer tokens they were these little octagonal uh red bordered tokens uh you place them beside your ship cards so they're good for the fleet you could only use uh one or sorry yeah, you could only use them on your ships. Uh, once per round during the combat phase, a player could spend one Chief Engineer token to gain one of the following effects. There were two options. During the Modify Attack Dice step of your, of your attack, you could disable two active shields to add one hit result to your attack. This round could be useful. Rarely was. But there are moments. You go, ah, I'm one hit short. I really want to guarantee that I'm going to destroy your ship. That sort of thing. Or, during the modified defense die step of an opponent's attack, if your ship is defending and has at least one active shield, you can place an ox power token beside your ship and add an evade result to your defense this round. Um, yeah, the defense is better because it's not really costing you anything other than the ox power token. Um, but... Yeah, this was kind of a, a lackluster ta uh, resource. It's not bad. Ultimately, it's not a bad resource. I, I'm happy to have it. Some extra evades. Pretty nice in all reality, even if they are conditional upon having shields. It's like rerouting power. I'm good with this. Uh, and you get five uses of it throughout the game. But... It's just got to be five rounds of combat. And a lot of times there weren't five rounds of combat. That, that was the other downside. Is you used one of them, 
and then you were locked out for the round. And I think maybe being able to use two per round, but only one per attack or one per ship uh, in a round might have been a better trade-off. We also had the full alert card, another just door prize card. Uh, full alert was a five point unique talent or still is. Sorry, not like it disappeared. Uh, action, discard this card, place one evade token, one scan token and one battle station token and one auxiliary power token beside your ship. Your ship cannot perform any free actions during the game. Uh, the same round that you use this action. So you get a lot of good stuff. A little drawback. But it's five points, and it's one time. Uh, I'm okay with this being a one time. It's the five points that hurts it. Um, I don't think I've ever utilized full alert. But, um, and I don't think I ever could see myself using it. Um, but it exists. I also don't think I talked about this back in the Dominion War. Uh, red shirts existed. Uh, they were four point crew. Well, still are four point crew. When defending, discard this card to cancel any one of your opponent's attack dice of your choice. Uh, they're four points, but they're an evade. They're a one time evade. Uh, I suppose they're instant effects, they're choices, um, and you do get to cancel a crit. If you want, it's not like it's a an evade where it cancels a hit first, uh, but boy, it's expensive. All right, uh, moving up a little bit, we had the collect uh, the collective, and in collective we got a counter attack die. This was a a yellow die with black faces. Uh, it's a defense die. And uh, once during every combat phase, a player may choose to exchange one of their defense dice with the counterattack die. You can't roll this die more than once per round, regardless of how many ships you have in their fleet. And on the counterattack die, you still have evade, 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 battle station, battle station like normal. But instead of blanks, it has hit, hit, and crit. If a hit or crit is rolled, the attacking ship suffers damage as normal during the deal damage step of the combat phase. So you're dealing damage back to a ship that's shooting you. you you're still going to take normal damage, but you have a chance to inflict the damage back at them. The attacking ship does not roll defense dice against this damage, which is nice. Um, yeah, I, I liked the counterattack die. Uh, I don't think it was amazing. I think it was good. Uh, I think it was better than the elite attack die. Uh, just because why make my attack just a little bit better I'd rather make my defense potentially able to uh, really hurt you. Uh, I would have liked to have seen a double evade on this. Maybe go like evade, 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 battle station, battle station, double evade, hit, crit. But you know what? I will take three out of eight odds of doing damage back to the ship that's shooting me. That is helpful. All right, um, let's see what is next. Ah, fleet captains. Oh. Fleet captains. Fleet captains are like flagships, except instead of equipping them to a ship, you equip them to a captain. Uh, there were the four main factions, Federation, Klingon, Romulan, Dominion, and on each side there were independent versions, which made a captain dual factioned. Made them, uh, made Picard, for instance, fed and independent. Uh, they also uh, added bonus text abilities, upgrade slots, added a talent which could either add an additional talent or um, could make uh, one of your talents free. But it had to be assigned to a unique captain. That was the only downside. So, your Federation fleet captain gave you two extra captain skill. Gave you a tech and a weapon slot. And after you move, you could target one friendly Federation ship within range 1 to 3. Or your own ship. 
The target troop immediately removes the disable upgrade token from one of its disabled upgrades as a free action. Pretty nice. I, I liked it. It's not was not great, but I, I liked it. The Dominion Fleet Captain also gave you two bonus skill. A talent slot and a crew slot. After you move, you can target one friendly Dominion ship within range 1 to 2 or your own ship. The target ship immediately performs an action on one of its non-disabled tech upgrades as a free action. Uh, not that Dominion has great action tech, but it's, it's kind of there. The Romulan fleet captain. After you move, you could target one friendly cloaked Romulan ship within range 1 to 2 or your own ship. The target ship immediately performs a sensor echo as a free action. This now is much better. Much, much, much better. Uh, especially with Romulan cloaking device, bank echoes, and being able to do that before you go. Uh, for two bonus skill and a crew and a weapon slot. Again, Romulans need tech. Uh, and that's how I'd change this. I, I'd probably make it a tech slot, not a weapon slot. Klingons. Klingons probably got the best slots. They got the uh, tech and the talent. When what they really needed was probably a uh, talent and a weapon? Uh, maybe. Not sure. Anyway, uh, after you move, you can target one friendly Klingon ship within range 1 to 2 of your own ship. The target ship immediately performs an action on one of its non-disabled crew upgrades as a free action. Now, this is better. Klingons have some pretty good action crew. Uh, they always did. Drex was out. Uh, this was used a fair bit to trigger Drex. Independence, though. Independence got three slots. Only one bonus skill. But you liked that. And here, here was the crazy thing. Independent Klingon here. All of your crew upgrades cost one less point for all ships in your fleet, including your own ship. Well, that's going to pay for the five points and then some. It doesn't give you any textual benefit. It's, it's passive. It just happens. It's done. But it gave you two crew slots. And a free talent. It's already paid for. The Federation one, after you move, you may target one friendly ship within range 1 to 2 or your own ship. The target ship immediately performs an additional one forward banker turn. Admiral Forrest called he'd like his ability back. Um, it's not an action, though. That That's the nice thing here. Uh, it is plus one skill. Only gives a talent. Where's my slots? Yeah. Independent Romulan, all of your weapon upgrades cost one less point for all of your ship uh, in your fleet, including your own ship, and here's two more weapon slots while you're at it. Useful in, in some fleets, you can build that way. Oh, and the Independent Dominion, all of your tech upgrades cost one less point for all ships in your fleet, including your own ship. Here's a couple more tech upgrade slots, free talent. Yeah, these independent ones, especially the discounters, got used a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. They're really good. I, I love the fleet captains. Uh, they're not balanced by any means, but I still like them. All right. Uh, let's look at the last one in collective, and that is the officers. Now, officers, you got a set of four officer cards. You can choose any number of them during the tournament. Each officer card costs three points. So if you wanted one, you pay three. If you wanted four, you pay 12. This is the first resource we got with a variable cost. And I really liked that. Uh, officer cards are assigned to one or more of your crew upgrades. When assigning these cards, be sure to stack the officer cards beneath the crew upgrades so that the lower half of the officer card is visible. You can assign up to two officer cards to any of your crews, so you could have a first officer, science officer, like Mr. Spock. Officer cards add bonus tech abilities and upgrade slots to the assigned crew and or his ship. Players may use the bonus text-based abilities in addition to their crew upgrades, normal text ability, if applicable during the battle. Okay. So here we go. First officer. Whenever you perform a battle station scan or evade action, you may place two tokens of the appropriate type beside your ship instead of one. If you do so, place an ox power token beside your ship. Captain Janeway would like her ability back. 
If your captain skill is ever reduced below four, you may use the skill number on this card instead of your captain skill number. So you have skill four built in, which is nice. And first officer gives you a bonus talent slot. Pretty nice. Pretty nice for three points. Tactical officer. Add one weapon upgrade slot to your upgrade bar. During the roll attack die step of the combat phase, you may spend a battle station token to roll plus one attack die. During the roll defense dice uh, step of the combat phase, you can spend a battle station token to roll plus one defense die. Boo. No, thank you. I'll keep my uh, built-in conversions. Operations officer. Uh, actually here, on tactical officer. They missed a moment, an opportunity, to just give me a little passive conversion. Because I have a battle station, give me, give me a hit. Uh, let me convert a blank to a battle station, that sort of thing. Operations officer. Add one crew upgrade slot to your upgrade bar. During the modified attack dice step of the combat phase, you may choose one of your attack dice and reroll that die twice. And during the modified defense dice step of the combat phase, you may choose one of the defense dice and reroll that die twice. This is what tactical officer should have been. Yeah, I'll never use tactical officer. I'll use operations officer. Or tactical officer could have even been, you know, remove a disable token from a weapon. That sort of thing. And lastly, science officer. Uh, add one tech upgrade slot to your upgrade bar each time you attack. If there's a scan token beside your ship, the defender rolls minus two dice instead of minus one. Uh, I think T'Pol wants her ability back. Um, and during the modified defense dice step of the combat phase, if you spend a scan token, you may spend a scan token to add one evade result to your roll. Vulcans would love this. Uh, you put a high captain skill, run first officer, get, no, don't, just max out your captain skill. Shoot first, and then science officer, you only get one extra evade. But, still nice. Um, officers, you know, I think first officer, good. Op, operations officer, good. Science officer, uh, Dependent, tactical officer, bad. But anyway, uh, yeah. Alrighty, uh, that's going to be it for this. Uh, thank you for watching. And until next time, keep brushing up your game. Take care.